Long ago in the year 1300, during the Korguyu dynasty, there was a martial art called Subakgi, which consisted of hand movements. I'm not sure when Taekwon existed, but it consisted mostly of foot movements. In my opinion, it was necessary to have both hand and foot movements in the martial art. So I looked up a word in a Chinese dictionary. The word Thai was not found in the ordinary Chinese dictionary at that time. However, fortunately, I found a dictionary which had the word Thai. Thai means to jump, to kick, and to tread on. The power of Thai is unlimited. Quan, meaning fist, was much easier to find. Do means way or method. That was how the martial art was named, Taekwondo. I went to Malaysia in 1962, and I began seriously to develop the Taekwondo patterns. I started to develop the Chunji pattern, and completed four patterns in 1963, but they were not included in the first book because the book came out in 1965. Anyway, I began to develop the Chunji pattern, and completed 20 patterns of Taekwondo in Vietnam. Before going to Vietnam, there were only four patterns, Warang, Chung Mu, Ulji, and Gebek. How did Taekwondo spread abroad? At first, Taekwondo reached Vietnam. It was March 1959 when General Duk Shin Choi was the Korean ambassador to Vietnam. With his status, he was able to introduce me to the president of Vietnam, and I asked the president to invite the Korean Army Taekwondo team to Vietnam. The president accepted. After that, we negotiated with Taiwan, and Taiwan agreed. Through this, Taekwondo reached naturally into Singapore, Indonesia, and completely to the rest of Asia. Then I thought about setting up an international organization. Early in 1965, I came back to Korea and became chief of the Taekwondo Association. After that, I went to Europe, Africa, and Eastern Asia. Then I returned to Korea and established the International Taekwondo Federation in Seoul on March 22nd. 1966. I never thought about working as an ambassador. I thought I would stay in the army for life. If I had remained in the military service, I could have become the chief of the general staff. However, I did not approve of President Jung Hee Park, so I plotted to upset his plan. The plot was laid bare. If I had been exposed in another state or country, I could have been charged as a traitor. But Jung Hee Park was not strong enough to do anything against me. Then Jung Hee Park negotiated with the 8th U.S. forces in Korea and requested them to send me abroad. For as long as I was in Korea, he could not do as he wanted. When he asked the U.S. forces in Korea to send me as an ambassador, they did not have much choice. So I was sent to Malaysia. I was very disappointed because it was not originally planned. When I got there, nobody knew about Korea, for Korea was a small country. Anyhow, I was going to introduce Taekwondo wherever I went, so I thought I should quickly expand Taekwondo. As a result, I was able to complete techniques in Taekwondo in Malaysia. What I'm saying is that there are no different doors for fortune and misfortune. They come and go through the same door. If you use the opportunity well, it becomes fortune. If you misuse the opportunity, it becomes misfortune. However, I was lucky to use the opportunity well, and it became fortune. Mm. 
The fastest way to spread Taekwondo is through the military, for the army comes from every direction, including mountains and seas. A civilian dojang is limited to those nearby, so the fastest way to extend Taekwondo's popularity was through the army. Anyway, that is the reason why Taekwondo rapidly spread in the world. And through Taekwondo, military morale was much increased, and so was solidarity. If I had started by building a dojang in a country where people had no knowledge about Taekwondo, it could have taken thousands of years in order to spread Taekwondo. With my status as the founder of Taekwondo, a general and an ambassador, I was able to meet kings and presidents in whatever country I went to. When I met kings and presidents, I took advantage of the mass media to spread Taekwondo at top speed. Otherwise, if I had gone as a carpenter or common laborer to see a president or prime minister, it would not have happened. There was an established order. Strangely enough, I became an ambassador as a result of not getting along with Jung Hee Park. Not only the techniques, but also my status enabled me to expand Taekwondo rapidly.